Okay, uh, we move on to the next ecosystem. Uh, under 2.1 subtopic, we have terrestrial ecosystem, which uh, specific on tropical rainforest. Okay, uh, for tropical rainforest, uh, actually, uh, yes, we in Malaysia, uh, we have tropical rainforest, but uh, it also exists in another countries, which is uh, situated at the equator of the earth. Okay, ataupun ke utara sikit atau ke selatan sikit daripada equator. Okay, yeah, you may find it online. Okay, which are another countries that have tropical rainforest. Uh, and I believe that um, different countries may have different species of flora and fauna in tropical, in their tropical rainforest. Okay, maybe we have similar um, species of flora and fauna. But I would say uh, maybe we have different species too in uh, each tropical rainforest. Okay, so why it is called tropical rainforest? Because it is located in tropical region, which is I said just now maybe, bukan maybe, <laughs> uh, I would say it is located at the equator, not necessarily on the center of equator, but I would say that's the region generally. And then it is called as a tropical rainforest because it receives large amount of rain which is heavy rainfall throughout the year. Okay. Uh, so, kalau kita refer pada Malaysia itself, uh, yes, we do have... Um, actually, kita ada dua season di Malaysia, panas dan lembab. Okay, sepanjang tahun. So, dia akan uh, panas and then dia akan hujan, panas, hujan, maybe panas lama sikit and then hujan lama sikit for quite some times and then dia bertukar-tukar lah. Okay, dia bukan panas saja sepanjang tahun ataupun hujan saja sepanjang tahun. Dia tidak. Dia bertukar gantilah sebenarnya. Okay, so panas dan lembab sepanjang tahun. But also Malaysia receive large amount of rain. And then contain many species of wildlife and vegetation means that have a variety of flora and fauna. And then physical variation including climate. So we have warm temperature and then density of light. Uh, it differs based on uh, stratification or based on layer. And then high humidity. And then we have uh, wind. Okay. Um, strong wind. Okay. So, this, uh, this is a picture of tropical rainforest that exists in Malaysia. Okay, next move on. Uh, for tropical rainforest, we want to focus on the layer of the forest. Okay, we don't want to talk about the zone uh, in tropical rainforest as we talk about the lake ecosystem. Okay, for tropical rainforest, we have five layer which is we... Uh, divide into five layer based on amount of light penetration. Okay, so if the highest, uh, if the layer is the highest one, which is emergent layer, so light penetration dia paling banyak. Okay, sebab dia kawasan paling atas. Okay, nothing to cover the layer. Ah, uh, that's why dia menerima cahaya yang paling banyak lah. Okay, let's have a look. So, the first layer, we have emergent layer. So, flora that we can find at the emergent layer, we have tualang tree, jati, cengal. Okay. Uh, tapi, dia punya base of the tree memang di bawah lah. Okay. Cuma pokok tu boleh tinggi. Okay. Uh, achieve certain uh, height uh, to make the plants fall under emergent layer. Okay, uh, animals or fauna that we can find in emerging layers such as eagles or hawks. Okay, actually you you may uh, put another animals here, it doesn't matter. Tapi make sure that betul dia duduk pada emerging layer. Okay, under emerging layer which is lower from the emerging layer, kita ada canopy layer. Uh, so, canopy layer type of flora we can find is orchid. So, ni wild orchids lah. Okay, kalau orchids yang ada dekat kebun di rumah tu, uh, itu mungkin um, 
not wild orchids. Okay, tapi boleh juga dia jadi wild orchids. Means that someone um, jumpa dekat hutan and then bawa ke uh, untuk uh, decommercialize kan. Boleh juga, okay. And then fauna that we can find in canopy layer, we have birds, monkey and so on. Okay, yang sesuai lah duduk dekat canopy layer. So, kita dah settle the first layer dengan second layer. Okay, bawah lagi sikit daripada canopy layer, kita under, kita ada understory layer. Uh, type of trees that we have here is lianas trees. So, lianas ni adalah, okay, kalau siapa pernah tengok cerita Tarzan, okay, so Tarzan dia nak jump from one tree to another tree, dia akan guna satu, uh, bukan pokok eh, uh, I would say macam uh, structure yang dia macam akar memanjang ke bawah, okay. Uh, yang Tarzan bergerak daripada satu pokok ke satu pokok, uh, itulah pokok lianas sebenarnya, okay. Uh, siapa yang tak tahulah okay. uh, So lianas ni kita banyak jumpa dekat kawasan understory okay. uh, Understory ni for your information actually dia tinggi okay, daripada lantai hutan Maybe 30 meters okay, uh, daripada ground layer uh, So selalunya jarang lah kita jumpa lianas ni kawasan bawah-bawah hutan okay. Kalau kamu pergi hiking uh, dekat kawasan yang Bukit sahaja, bukan hutan tebal uh, Mungkin takkan jumpa lah lianas ni Okay, okay uh, animals that have uh, That presence in the understory layer We have snakes, uh, tree frogs and so on Okay, next we have shrub layer The fourth layer uh, So flora we have ferns Which is uh, dry up the species And then fauna we have reptiles, deer, insects, spiders Okay uh, so, kalau kita masuk dalam kawasan forest ni, kita di kawasan shrub lah. Okay. And then, the last one, kita ada forest floor ataupun ground floor. So, banyak apa kat sini? Mosses, uh, lumut. So, ada bryophytes uh, dekat sini. And then, grasses. And then, animal that we can find in forest floor such as worms, snails, ants and also invertebrates. Okay, so ni kawasan paling bawah lah. Dan nanti later on kita akan tengok um, berapa persen sunlight sebenarnya each layer dapat. Okay, uh, dan uh, macam mana percentage of sunlight tu affect uh, the humidity of each layer. Okay, move on. Uh, so ni uh, big picture lah. Okay, uh, for terrestrial ecosystem. Okay, kita tengok sikit lah eh. Uh, untuk imagine layer which is uh, layer paling atas. Uh, so, kita ada pokok meranti, uh, cengal, pokok jati and then we have eagle, monkey for example. Uh, so, dia kawasan atas ni lah. Okay. Okay, and then this layer actually has plenty full of sunlight. Very windy and less humidity. Okay. Disebabkan dia dapat banyak sunlight which is direct actually dia dapat sunlight. There is no cover for the layer. So, menyebabkan kawasan tu less humid. Okay. So, bila less humid, uh, there, is, there are certain flora and fauna that are not suitable to uh, live uh, at this layer. Okay. Uh, so, mana-mana flora ataupun fauna yang boleh tahan pada uh, high density of sunlight and then strong wind okay and then less humidity yes dia boleh survive lah dekat emerging layer but for those that are not capable of that dia kena duduk layer yang lebih bawah lah okay okay uh, the second lower layer under emerging is canopy layer so for canopy layer uh, this region have more sunlight Rainfall is heavy and then strong wind and then fairly high humidity. Okay, uh, so dia banyak, still banyak sunlight. Uh, cuma dia sedikit lembab lah compared to emerging layer which is less humid. Okay, and then they still have strong wind. Okay, for understory layer, uh, less sunlight, 
uh, no wind and then high humidity. So, kita boleh tengok eh, uh, kalau sunlight tu berkurang, dia akan affect pada humidity lah. Okay. And then for shrub layer, less sunlight, no wind and then high humidity. Uh, dan sama juga macam forest floor. Okay. Uh, so, actually um, from understory anti forest floor, we have a um, percentage of sunlight okay, that um, pass all the way to the forest floor. Okay. Later on, we will have a look. Okay. Uh, so, for imagine layer, uh, the tallest tree will be over 50 meters. So, contohnya adalah, um, uh, contohnya adalah pokok uh, tualang ataupun pokok meranti cengal. Uh, untuk pokok tualang, actually dia boleh mencapai 78 meters. Okay. Uh, you Can you imagine which is human, we have less than 2 meters. For our height, so for trees in imagine layer, which is for tualang, for example, 78 meters. So, sangat tinggi lah. Okay. Uh, so, bila dia sangat tinggi tu, so dia exposed to strong wind and high temperature. So, means that uh, flora and fauna yang nak duduk dekat kawasan imagine layer, dia mesti able to um, withstand a uh, high temperature and strong wind if not they won't survive they need to uh, be in lower layer okay and then receive a lot of sunlight and then the second which is canopy layer tree is about 30 to 40 meter tall and then for canopy layer actually we have leaf and branches which is interlocked to form a roof for the forest okay uh, so banyak branches je lah dekat kawasan canopy ni okay uh, memang ada juga uh, another flora and fauna tapi mostly kita banyak jumpa branches okay and then canopy contain over 50% of the rainforest wildlife okay uh, sangat banyak lah uh, selain daripada branches of trees okay and then for understory layer trees is about 20 meter tall actually ada jugalah 30 meter tall okay uh, for understory layer, not as dense as it receive less sunlight under canopy. So, canopy tadi, leaf dengan branches tu dah membentuk macam bumbung lah kepada hutan. Okay? Uh, so, dia menyebabkan little light or less sunlight after the canopy layer reach the third layer which is understory layer. Okay? And then for understory layer, consists of smaller trees. Tapi 20 meter tu kira tinggi jugalah. Okay? Uh, and then dekat sini yang saya kata ada lianas tadi lah. Okay. And then shrub layer tree is about 3.5 meter tall. So receive about 2 to 5 percent of sunlight. Okay. Uh, and then has the densest plants growth. Uh, so banyak ferns kat kawasan ni dan apa-apa uh, higher plants but not... Um, I would say apa-apa higher plants lah uh, until angiosperms. Okay. Uh, and then the last one adalah forest floor receive 0 to 2 percent sunlight. So forest floor ni paling sikit dia terima sunlight sebab dia paling bawah. So bila dia paling bawah sikit sunlight dia dapat. So usually this uh, region is dark and damp. High humidity because of low light penetration. Okay. And then contain rotten leaf. Uh, so daun-daun yang dah berguguran dan dah layu. Okay. Uh, and then dead animals and many decomposes or detritivore dekat kawasan forest floor. Dan banyak juga invertebrates or any arthropods lah duduk dekat kawasan forest floor. Okay, that's all for terrestrial ecosystem.